so hi everyone and happy Friday. Welcome back to our Small Business Spotlight. Um, we are talking Thai comfort foods today. Um, so, you know, welcome back to our Small Business Spotlight foodie edition. And we are talking about how to bring these um, delicious dishes made with the freshest local grown organic ingredients home uh, during the Safer at Home order. So Tiffany Chin here, your LA Realtor. Welcome to our video series. And a lot of local restaurants have been forced to get creative during these challenging times. So we at Tiffany Chin Real Estate want to do our part in helping to give back to the community that has been so good to us. So we're featuring a different small business every Friday. And today, the spotlight is on our newest member, Zach's go-to Thai spot from uh, Prem's Thai Kitchen. Let's meet Jaime, who owns Prime, uh, Prem's Thai Kitchen with his wife. Hi, Jaime. Thank you Hello, so much so for joining us. Good afternoon. You Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. The pleasure is all mine. Um, so Jaime, jumping in, tell us about the story behind Prem's Thai Kitchen. How did you get started with this concept? My wife um, comes from Thailand. Uh, she's from Bangkok. Her uh, family had uh, a restaurant there, uh, a small restaurant. Um, she mm -hmm. came here in 1990 and um, okay. she worked uh, at a Thai restaurant, and that's where we met. Um, once uh, we got together, uh, I loved her food, uh, um, and I kept encouraging her to cook it for others. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided to take a chance. In 2015, we found a location, uh, and we started Friends. Since then, we've had uh, a great success. Uh, our community has received us well. Uh, we specialize in fresh and delicious food, like you said. We use uh, fresh ingredients. Nothing is pre-made. Um, mm -hmm. The only thing that we get that's frozen is seafood. Uh, that's for everybody's protection. Um, other than that, uh, you know, we, uh, my wife is the, the cook, her, he's friend. <clears throat> She's got great recipes for traditional uh, Thai foods uh, with a little bit of American fusion. So to... Uh, make it easier for people to embrace the foods because they're not used to the seasonings or the strong uh, uh, ingredients that some of the Thai traditional foods have. Right, right. I love that. I love to hear um, the origin story of any restaurant. Um, so what is it that you think makes Prem's Thai Kitchen so special to your customers? Uh, we use the fresh ingredients. We don't pre-make anything. So everything is made fresh. Uh, I believe in intent. Uh, so we cook food with all the intention to give people nourishing and delicious uh, experiences. Um, I'm a big fan of, uh, of intent. You know, uh, our, uh, our emotions and our energy matter so much, especially when we eat. You know, uh, happy cooks make great food. You know, uh, angry cooks, sad cooks, you know, I have to send them home for the day because it just doesn't have that same flavor. Right, right. You can feel the love where you can. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And I don't know if anybody uh, recognizes that, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, when you make something with a good intention, love, you know, to nourish and, and just uh, nurture people, it's mm -hmm. a great, great uh, experience for us giving the food and for the people receiving it. Right, right. Oh, absolutely. I totally agree. Um, okay, well, we know uh, things are tough right now. Will you share with us how the Safer at Home order has impacted your business? Uh, it has <laughs> devastated it in some aspects. Uh, but lucky for us, uh, California has allowed us to have pickup and delivery, um, which is keeping us uh, alive. We're surviving, we're not thriving. But in this time, in this uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic, uh, I think we're doing phenomenal, you know, compared to other businesses that aren't allowed to operate. Right, right, absolutely. And I'm well, excited about the reopening, I but know. I'm a little uh, intimidated about that as well. You know? What are you guys going to be reopening? Uh, well, we're discussing that. Uh, right now, we don't have any inside dining. We're only allowing outdoor dining mm -hmm. until I think the public gets a little bit more confident my employees get a little bit more confident, and then we'll start to bring people in when we know it's safe. Mm -hmm. Right now, having people come in is a little subject. You know, we all want to make money. We all want to do well. You know, but 
your health and your wealth is the most important thing. Yeah. We make delicious and nutritious food to nourish, you know, and to give you guys a good experience. We don't want the, any negative effects from a dining experience to be uh, taken home. So if we don't feel safe, we won't. If the staff doesn't feel comfortable, we won't, but we will accommodate outdoor dining. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be difficult uh, for a lot of people, um, for us as well, but we will migrate to it. We will move over um, as soon as we feel it's safe and appropriate. Right. Um, I mentioned to you earlier that um, redesigning restaurant dining is something that we're considering like individual dining rooms um, for, uh, that are enclosed, like a Korean karaoke bar. Oh. Uh, you know, so everybody would have their own experience. They would feel safe about dining in, but that's not something we offer yet. It's something that we will plan to do, you know, to accommodate as much uh, of our customers in a safe way that we can, and to still allow them to have that unique dining out experience. Absolutely. You know, so they're not at home, they're with friends, uh, and they don't have to clean. They can eat, enjoy, and go home and relax. Yeah, oh, I love that. Well, that's what we all kind of miss. <laughs> uh, all right, so tell us um, a little bit about your menu and what you're offering for pickup and delivery. During well, uh, we, uh, we're, we're offering our full menu. We haven't condensed it at all. Our cooks are still here. Our employees are still here. We're still making great and delicious food. You know, mm -hmm. one of the things that... Uh, that we've added um, is just a zero uh, delivery fee, you know, for uh, for the customers that do uh, want delivery. We do have a minimum of twenty-five dollars before tax, mm -hmm. uh, but there is no uh, no fee for the delivery, and it's a four-mile radius. So we've expanded uh, our areas from two miles to four miles, uh, mm -hmm. just to be able to accommodate more of our customers that were traveling, you know, to uh, to dine in with us, so they can still. Mm -hmm get our food without having to pay absorbent fees through Grubhub or, or Uber right. Eats, you know, uh, with all the added cost. Right, right. Well, oh, that's wonderful. So people can order delivery directly through uh, Directly through us. Uh, our website is uh, online, ptkla.com. You can order for pickup or delivery. And it has a rewards program just to be able to say thank you, you know, to the customers that patronize our, our restaurant. Well, oh, that's wonderful. I love that. Okay, it's good to know because sometimes, you know, as consumers, we don't necessarily know what's the most um, profitable way to order from you. So I love that we're able to cover that. Thank so, you. Of course. So, um, you know, that answers my next question, which was, you know, how people can get their hands on some of your prem specials. So the they best can look us up on Facebook. Uh, they can use the order tab there or they can go directly online at ptkla.com. Prem mm -hmm. Kitchen Los Angeles uh, dot com. And um, you can just order. There's a four mile radius. Just scroll through the menu and enjoy. Love that. All right. Want to would you like to share with us what your favorite dish is on the menu? Um, I, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I have a lot, uh, to be honest. Uh, I do believe, uh, and not uh, in a shy way, that everything on the menu is good. We mm -hmm. wouldn't put it on if it wasn't good uh, for for me, for you, for anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, any of the foods are great. It just depends on what you're in the mood for. Today I had a pad thai, which is uh, a traditional uh, Thai noodle dish. It's a sweet tamarind sauce. Um, I had it with chicken today, you know, um, but I usually have it with, uh, with pork and I make it spicy. But <laughs> I don't make it spicy, I order it spicy. You order it spicy. <laughs> I'm a spice lover myself. But not Thai spicy. Thai spicy is a little even. Well, no, we, have, we have different levels of spice. Any of our foods, because we make it, we make everything from scratch. So you get a, a home cooked meal every time you come here, specially right. made for you. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want a certain ingredients in it, you just tell us. If you want it to have no spice, you tell us. If you want it to have the make me cry spice, we'll put it in there and anything in between. I love that. Okay, well, awesome. I love that it's customized to our palates. Um, all right, so that's really it, Jaime. We just wanted to make it super simple, easy, and uh, you know we're so grateful that you were able to join us today. And we're really pulling for Prem's Thai Kitchen to continue to thrive. So wishing you the best of luck. Thank you, thank you for having me. Hello and uh, to everybody and blessings. You know, may we all get through this uh, safely and healthily. Yes, you know? I second that. 
you know, everyone, um, you know, please stay safe and healthy. Continue to support your local restaurant. And we do, mm -hmm. we do require people to wear masks when they do come to, to pick up. Right. Uh, you know, just for added uh, safety for everybody. Uh, everybody. Yeah, makes sense. We love it. All right. Thank you, Jaime. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Have you guys have a nice awesome. afternoon. You know, you too. All those good things and more. Enjoy. You too. <laughs> Take care. Bye.